Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of 8 Minutes with Aaron. As I adjust myself, I want to welcome you to the longest running show with the title 8 Minutes with Aaron. So I have some Funko Pops we're going to get through and they're very exciting. You know why? Because I got them by standing in line for over two hours. So without further ado, let's just get rolling with 8 Minutes with Aaron. So I do want to start off by going over uh, what's going on in the Funko world. Right now there is going to be a virtual Funko uh, convention, which they've been doing for over the last year and a half due to the COVID pandemic. And they are going to send emails out soon, and they just released everything in the last couple days of what is going to be available for the Funko Con. I think it's all Funko Con, possibly something else. Mm, they change it every year. So make a long story short, there is nothing on there that is screaming out, "Bam me!" Because no Naruto, no One Piece. Uh, I guess there's two My Hero Academia ones, but they're kind of cheesy. You got you got this whale who doesn't look that great, and then you got this other guy. I think it's like I don't even want to screw up his name because I don't want to offend anybody. But long story short, not a lot of things that are great. However, there is one clown. I think he's a can or something like that, and he looks pretty cool. I, I, I don't know. There's something with like weird clown sheep things that I like. So, let's get on with today's episode. I'm gonna pull out some of these Funko Pops, which I did say in the beginning, I stood in line for a while. And thank goodness I did, because I'm pretty happy with what I got. So the first one we're gonna pull out here, and hopefully the one, is the Hot Topic Exclusive Limited 5,000 piece My Chemical Romance. Gerard Way. I like My Chemical Romance. If you do know my music playlist, I really don't listen to anything past maybe 2008? I don't know when that last Britney Spears song came out. I know the recent ones that came out, but I mean good songs we can dance to, or just, you know, I love Britney, so any song is pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, I wanted uh, the My Chemical Romance uh, Funko Bop. They were releasing them on weird days. The Hot Topic near me released the Biggie Smalls on a Saturday, which is awful because who has time on the weekends, to, you know, for a pop release? You know, people work, right? Or just me. And uh, yeah, so I was a little, you know, confused whether or not I was going to be able to get it. And I went a week prior to the mall and they didn't have any in when everywhere else was getting them released. So I thought I missed out on it and I wasn't gonna you know, be able to get anything. However, there was one person who went out of his way and picked me up this Gerard Way from Kapop. And that is a big shout out to my father, Ian Essen. Thank you very much, dad. I love you and I appreciate everything you do. And now I can put this with all my other Funko Pops back here and uh, yeah, now I can listen to Black Parade and have a Funko Pop to go with it. <laughs> All right, the next Funko Pop we're gonna pull out of here, and this was one I was waiting for a while. Now, they did give me a little bit of an issue. I do understand, you know, there were rules and stipulations, but my PayPal was created, you know, back when I was like 12 years old buying Dragon Ball Z movies. So it's, it's not under my name and they need like an ID, and I don't have time for all that stuff. So they, they were arguing with me that my name wasn't the same one affiliated on the PayPal. And I said, you know what? This is who I am. I don't live there anymore. It's been 20 some odd years since I lived at that address. Come on. So uh, long story short, uh, after customer service and me went back and forth on emails, they finally sent me out my Boba Fett bait exclusive. And uh, yeah, that, yeah, I, I like Star Wars. I'm not a big Star Wars fan. However, I did want to get one of the Boba Fett's, and yeah, I got a Boba Fett. And I didn't even know he came with a stand. But he is a bait exclusive, and uh, I know some of these Funko Pops from bait do go up in value, so I'm glad that I at least, you know, I have one. All right, let's go to the next one. Oh, by the way, you know, he's a bounty hunter, you know, he tries to go after Han Solo, and you learn in the Clone Wars that, you know, most of the stormtroopers are just clones of Boba Fett. And then I just think to myself, damn, how 
how are these stormtroopers so stupid now? Because Boba Fett was on point. Maybe it's because he was a clone. All right, the next one we're going to pull out of here, and it is in a hard key. That's right. It is the Biggie Smalls Hot Topic Exclusive. Now, for this one, I did stand uh, at two malls. The first mall that I went to, they only had three in stock, and I was, I think, the fourth one in line. So then I went to another mall that opened an hour later, and I went in, I ran right to Hot Topic, and I was wearing like baggy pants, and I got to the store, and I was second in line. I think the first person may have worked there, he was waiting as well, I can't remember. And I checked my pockets, and didn't have my wallet. So I started panicking and freaking out, like, oh, I dropped my wallet in the mall, where did I go? So I'm pacing all my steps, I can't find my wallet, and I'm like, you know what, maybe this is a sign that I wasn't supposed to get Biggie Smalls. So I went back to my car, I looked in the glove compartment thinking that's where it was, not there at all. So now I'm definitely freaking out, saying, oh man, someone has my wallet. And then I checked my trunk with my gym clothes, so I guess subconsciously, since the only other place I go to is work in the gym, I must have thought I was at the gym, threw my bag in my trunk, and like walked in. Uh, when I got back in, I was no longer second in line. I was number seven. I met a bunch of cool people, very nice. I met a few people that I've, I've seen outside a previous line, and uh, yeah. I was gonna ask them for their numbers and be like, hey man, maybe we can, you know, work together when we all have work and we can pick up things for each other. But there was really no opportunity. No opportunity at all. So yes, the two rare ones from Hot Topic I did get. I got the Gerardway and I got the Notorious B.I.G. He will go with my other biggie up there. Alright, and the next one we're gonna pull out of here. The shark track on the front. And this one, I don't know, just says Funko. Oh, maybe I just... <laughs> it's not a real one. It's a Super Saiyan 2 PX Glow in the Dark Goku Super Saiyan 2 form. And he is with energy and glows in the dark. I just had to pop at the bottom and I didn't want it to fall. And uh, yeah, I think I got this from GameStop. I think I got lucky. I ordered one thinking that I ordered more than that. And I opened it up and I got, you know, Chase. I got a Chase. I got a Chase Glow in the Dark. I did stop trying to collect Dragon Ball Z Fungos, and I know the next wave is coming out shortly because they just got a message from GameStop, so they'll be in here and I'll show you them as well. And I think I did pretty well. Pretty well so far in today's episode of 8 Minutes with Aaron. We got a Gerard Way, we got the Boba Frat from the Bait, we got the B.I.G., Notorious B.I.G., sorry about that, and then we got Super Saiyan 2 Goku Chase Edition. So yeah, not bad, not bad. Like I said, I'm, you know, trying to stay away from the Dragon Ball Z, and I want to collect all the Naruto's. Still waiting on Chalice, bleh. All right, everyone, thank you very much for joining me on this episode of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I have been, of course, your handsome host, Aaron, and I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know what you want me to go over. And don't forget, I haven't forgotten about the Vegeta. Actually, I probably just did forget until, you know, I start talking myself. Now, I will see you later.